What's going on? Welcome to Board Game Battle Royale. I'm your host, Roy, and with me is Mark Streed and Brian Drake. What's up? How's everybody How's doing? doing? How's everybody doing? We are back by popular demand, and interesting <laughs> progression with this show is it is now going to be every other Wednesday on the Dice Tower. So we have crowd surfing one week, and the next week we're going to have board game battle royale, and we're going to be going through a bunch of different topics. So um, if people don't know how the show works, we basically created a bracket from the Dice Tower group. And in the group, I, uh, I basically asked, hey, what's everybody's favorite two-player games? Put it on the poll, and people were putting all sorts of games on there. I primed it with a couple games, but not really a whole lot. And Mark went in and put some stuff on there. I think Brian put some stuff on there. And then oh, a I ton did. of other people... <laughs> A ton of other people put a lot of games on there, and everybody voted them up, and I took the top 16 right. and put them on a bracket. Um, and so if you're wondering why a certain game isn't on the bracket, um, make sure to join the Dice Tower group, um, Facebook group, and you can vote on the next one and try to make sure your favorite game is in there. You too could have voted on Twilight right. Struggle, but you didn't. <laughs> so, of all the games that were up, you guys, what were the ones that didn't make on? What was one of the ones that didn't make it that you wanted to make it? That, that's it for me is Twilight Struggle. I was just yeah. it was, it was number one board game geek forever, but yeah, no. right. <laughs> I'm just for salty. Me, for me, it was Blitzkrieg. I love that game. Yeah, so. I I would have liked to have seen one of the commanding colors, like either Memoir Forty Four or Bad Lore, be on here, right. just because I feel yeah. like those are yes. such solid two player games as well. Oh man, especially Memoir. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, yeah it's a um. So the way this works is we're going to have live voting in the chat. So make sure to check for Mark Street's link as we're doing each of the pairings. Um, and that way you can join in and you guys are going to be the ones who determine the actual winner here on Board Game Battle Royale. So I'll go ahead and show everybody the bracket here. We have a whole bunch of two-player games, 16 in total. And I put it all in a randomizer. I basically put the top 16 in a randomizer and it, it decided who's going to be the pairing. So some of the pairings might be strange. Um, but that's just kind of the way it is. What I love about this week's, though, is unlike last time where there was a couple I was looking at, there were obvious landslides. I'm not seeing the obvious landslides here. Uh, yeah, I've got definitely my favorites that I would like to see. I'm not going to spoil yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll definitely be interesting to see how this shakes out. Because, I mean, yeah. in, in the past, it's been very much like the super popular game is the one that wins. So we'll see if if people what people are using the criteria of is it's like this is the best two-player experience or this right. is just like one of my favorite games like what what i wonder is going to be people's determining factor on voting for different things right sure Absolutely. cool right. well the first pairing here is going to be super interesting it is yep. going to be <laughs> war of the ring versus hanami koji <laughs> talk about radically different <laughs> yeah there there you know there's some similarities in there that they both have the letter a um mm -hmm. no they don't yeah they do they both <laughs> that's about it you know <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna post the first voting you guys ready ready for this yes Here we go. boom it's in your chat guys go follow that link and uh we'll be posting this for each of the brackets and so forth so nice Scarves. um so i need to bring that up myself and yeah, so for these that. games <laughs> 100%. War of the Ring is the giant epic two-player game based off of the books that's got amazing actions and card play with dice. And it's just such an epic game and such a grand scope. It's like an almost four-hour game to play, which is kind of crazy. Uh, don't they call it like Lord of the Rings in a box, essentially? Yeah, I mean, I feel that way. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And have yeah. you played the special edition version, Roy? Oh, the like wooden box yeah. one and stuff. It's so cool. It's so cool. Jason has it, and it's like yeah. underneath his table in his house. I know exactly where it is, and I'm like, <laughs> he's never gonna play it. He probably no. wouldn't even notice if it was gone. Nope. But I would, I would love <laughs> to play. Would I would even love to play it with Jason. I should like make that happen someday and be like, let's right? play the epic giant version of War of the Ring. So yeah, like you know you're gonna lose, but it's still worth playing at that point. Right. What? I don't lose to Jason. That's, that's just Tom. Yeah. Come on. That's the legend. <laughs> you know, I, it's true. The only time I've ever played Jason, I'm 50-50 with him. So I'm just yeah. saying. Uh, yeah, yeah. Awesome stuff. Um, and Hanami Koji is, I know Sam really enjoys this oh game. God. But He's it's like a, introduced me to that game. Yeah, absolutely. He's, He's been championing it on list after list. I've heard of it. <laughs> absolutely. So, 
a cool little Japanese card game. So at what point do we want to actually go ahead? I think we have a clear winner here. Yes. We've got 57 votes so far. Although if you call it now, who knows? The other one could come back and win. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh, that's what... Yeah, 50... I'd, uh, yeah. yeah, pretty clear right. winner on this one. I think it's pretty clear. Okay, right. cool. You want to show the results, Roy? Um, yes, let me bring it up and the results of the poll are in it is war of the ring with 70 percent with 41 yeah. votes and hanabi koji has 17 votes <clears throat> with 29 percent and we had 58 votes in total so hey that's the interesting thing about this is the further this stream goes along the more people will be involved and more people sure, will jump right. on so it'll be like you have to show up to these streams early because your vote counts even more at the beginning <laughs> right it's totally true I, I the the further this goes too, I cannot guarantee you random golem impressions too. So <laughs> I hope so. I would hope so. <laughs> As War of the so. Ring makes it all the way up to the top of the list. Yeah. The higher have... it goes, the the less inhibitions I get on my my impressions. I like it. <laughs> nice. Well I'm gonna nice. set good. everything up and show everybody the uh the bracket here again. The next set is going to be <laughs> Raptor versus Onitama. Ooh, yes. This is gonna be. This yeah, is gonna Tom be interesting. Is one of my to see. favorite just games. Period. With its yeah. the kind of the idea of its chess, but you're very limited. Right. Mm -hmm. I love how fast it plays. It's so oh, yeah. just, and you're just like, oh, let's go again. You know, uh -huh. it's just fantastic. I've never played just. It's like the old Lay's potato chips. I've never played it just one time yeah, in a row. Exactly. 100. Mm -hmm. But Raptor, man, I love that game. It's one of my favorite two-player games. So this is a really hard choice for me, actually, in this one. <laughs> Uh, just the scientists versus the raptors and all the card play that goes on. It's super quick, super fun, easy to engage folks. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I love the theme of it, too, I'm Dinosaur Guy. So. Now, how does it look I, on the table compared to Oni Tom? Oh, it looks great. You've got the all the standees and everything. on. Um, it's really cool. I think it's interesting that Raptor originally had a Lord of the Rings theme of hobbits trying to get away from spiders or something like that. Yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> it's so fun. Although, so. I think I like the dinosaur theme. I think it's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're like, you know, we need to save some money on the IP here. Let's let's do dinosaurs. <laughs> All right. Um, here we go for voting. Yeah, definitely throw the link in there. There it is. Link is up, guys. Go vote. Yeah. Smash that vote button, as the kids say these days. They don't exactly. say that. No. <laughs> they all say that. They all, all the kids say all these the things. Kids, every day, I get calls. <laughs> man this is this is shaking out about like a yeah it's kind of yeah. what i was thinking is gonna happen a little bit i think i was thinking this one might be close actually mm -hmm. yeah uh another thing about onitama is like it's so different depending on the cards that you you get oh, for the game and it's so interesting sure. like every time i play a game that has one where you can like move forward too straight i'm just like this is gonna be an interesting game so <laughs> i can jump real far and it's like it's such a simple thing it's like you can move an extra square how does that make that big of a difference it makes a huge difference <laughs> in the way the game plays it's crazy yes. you know? i love i love like holding on to a card and being like i'm the only person that can go forward yeah. everybody else has to go diagonal and it's like I just keep holding on to that card until the right moment. It's like, now I go forward. What now? Yeah. You know, but that's know. that's the beauty of the strategy in that game is that yeah. holding of a card to stop them. To Dude, stop I them. love exactly. it. Exactly. Absolutely. And I, I love even just the presentation of that game out of the box. is like, whoa, this is something special, you know? And yeah. I know Raptor is just one of those those hits for people that they really yeah. enjoy. Another game that's like easy to easy to play, easy to like, – that feels like it's theme. Even though the theme started as something different, it feels right. like your scientist trying to – trying to catch the baby raptors but then yep. the mama raptors trying to come in and take out the scientists it's such such an interesting game that i know is super popular as well yeah i have yeah. so much fun with that game it's just a blast i like raptors anyway i mean ever since i was a kid my leg was shaking in fear and uh jurassic park one i've always <laughs> right? been a fan oh yeah my 12 year old self was freaking out when that movie yeah. first came out <laughs> i was it, i was legit terrified i, I yeah, had no clue amazing, why my, right? my parents let me go see that <laughs> at that time you know i was like three <laughs> Awesome. Well, I think we have a decent amount of the votes in now. Um, what is it? Yes, 84 votes. So uh, make sure to be getting your votes in on these. But I think we're... Oh, man, it's decently close. But I think we can definitely call it on this one. Yeah, I think so. As well. Yeah. Um. So we're going to show the... 
got to give sessions. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to uh, show the winner here. It is going to be Raptor with forty or fifty-four percent with forty-six votes, and Onitama is not the winner with forty-five. We had eighty-five people all together, so that's super awesome. It's going to be getting up higher and higher as we go along. So yeah, <laughs> um, that's but yeah. Close. Raptor, Raptor, end up taking this really one good. out, right? That was really good. Yeah, I'm excited. I need, I need to play Raptor more just because. Yeah, it's one of those games that that uh, just is like solid two player game, which is what this whole list is about. Yes, right? so. <laughs> yes, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, this is a solid medium game here. It's just <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, our na- next matchup. This is what I'm excited about. This is going to be Star Wars Rebellion versus Watergate. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, big fan here of Star Wars Rebellion. Yep, I'm a huge fan of Star Wars Rebellion. I I love just like War of the Ring. This feels like if you want to play a game that feels like Star Wars, yeah, Star this Wars is Rebellion the is the epic game yeah. that feels like Star Wars. That's true. Yeah, I agree. Of course, I'm still waiting for Twilight Struggle to run in with a chair shot to the head of a game and just take <laughs> over its position, but I guess that won't happen. So, uh, but I feel what like, I feel like this one's going to be a landslide. Yeah. Well, the art <laughs> of the front of the box. You know how they do that? Like it's the movie pictures, but like painted. And this is to me one of the best looking um, Fantasy Flight Star Wars pieces of art. Is the front yeah. of the Rebellion? I love it. Yeah, and everything about that game. I mean, it truly. And even if you do play it with like four players and do teams, I love that too. It's just I have a I love that game so much. So mm-hmm. well, it's one of the classic games that does not need an expansion, even though it has one. Doesn't right. need one. It's no. it's done, and yeah. you don't need. Although it. I, I like the expansion quite a bit. So. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Which side do you play in Star Wars Rebellion? Oh, I love. I do both. I bounce back and forth. I always leave it up to whoever I'm playing. Uh, I like this. It's such a different challenge either either way. So yeah, um, I like the pieces better for the Empire. They're super sure, cool. Sure. But other than that, um, yeah, it's just. And I remember when the game before it came out, I was looking at it, going, "Oh man, why is all this stuff so tiny? I don't yeah. know." And then it, and then you get it, and you're like, "Oh, this is amazing." <laughs> oh yeah, it has to be tiny because there's right. so much of it that fits yeah. in a single space. <laughs> you know. I painted mine, or I painted the. I don't think I even have any more, but I painted my friends too. So we we play with a painted version. It just nice. looks phenomenal. That's awesome. It's very hard getting stripes on a uh, snow speeder. I bet. <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> Man, I. That's a skill set I don't have. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Patience is that what you're saying, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> I've tried so many times. Uh no. <laughs> yeah. Well, just, uh, I, I feel like... this might this might be our our biggest disparage in votes on yes. one of these. I think so. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So I guess we can go ahead and see who the winner is for this. And it is going to be Star Wars Rebellion with 79% and 64 Ooh. votes. And then Watergate comes in with still a 17 votes um, and 20%. 81 votes total. So yeah, Star Wars Rebellion definitely taking this one. Yep. Watergate is definitely a crook in this one. Yes, indeed. <laughs> well, awesome. well voted. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. I mean, like, I know, I know, but it's so good. Right. And now the next two games uh, are going to feel completely different. Those games, uh, yeah. sure. But yet again, another one of those games like Onitama Santorini that just is gorgeous. All that sort mm-hmm. of stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the next pairing is Jaipur and Santorini. Yep. And here is your link momentarily. Boom, go. Santorini is one of those games that fits in the what's that collection of games where you walk past the table and you, what is that? Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, let's right. see. How's this one shaking out? Go vote. Everybody click the link out of the chat yeah. and go vote. Go because... vote. I'm very curious how this is going to shake out. What do you What do you think about Jaipur? I haven't yeah. actually played Jaipur. Same. I haven't played that one either. But Santorini, like, 
<laughs> I was kind of hoping somebody could say something. No, no. not for Jaipur. No. So, so chat, chat. Tell us if you're voting for Jaipur. Tell us what is awesome about the game. Exactly. Because uh, awesome? I, I know I've heard the name of it over and over again, and I know it's it's like a trading game. Um, but I know a lot of people really enjoy it, and it's really, one that yeah, really like well, it. obviously we need to play because it's on this list. <laughs> In general, though, two-player games are really hard for me to get to the table. Sure. Because uh. most of the time, you know, when things are normal, I have way more than two people who want to play. Almost always. So Mark has more friends than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a pretty popular guy. <laughs> Kabuki Kid says she's played Jaipur, but she can't vote because she's only played Jaipur. Dun, oh, dun, no, dun. No. Uh, I saw what someone said earlier. It's the internet. You can have an opinion about anything. Sure <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Santorini, I, re- I really did enjoy. and um, I like abstracts, so it kind of has yeah. you know, it just really straight up is something that appeals to me in general. So, Well, it's one of those things it does an abstract in height. It, it hides the fact that it's an abstract very well. It's right. not. Gotcha. It's not discs on a grid, you know. Yep. Solo play gamer says that Jaipur is good for beginners and is a great travel game. Oh, I feel I like a lot of these two player games like yeah. that people are really excited about are awesome because they're easy to take with you on the go, easy to just throw out on the table and play. And um, we have several games on the list that are great like that. Yep. It's also an app too, right? Jaipur. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I think I think there's an app for it, which is so Sagrada now, by the way, it's phenomenal. Yeah. And and Steve says that Jaipur is a, a game that he usually uses to bring friends into the hobby. So it can be a nice. good gateway game as well. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's getting a lot of praise here. So yeah, I'm going to go check this out now. I see it all the time. I yeah, just have right? never sat down and played it. I know it's made a lot of top 10 lists from the, mm-hmm. uh, the guys. So Yeah, absolutely. Star Wars awesome. Rebellion Edition. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's cool. Really, yeah. Well, I think we can go ahead and reveal the yes. bracket for this. And we have Santorini oh, yeah. with 71% and 70 votes, and Jaipur with 28% and 28 votes. That's kind of how it happens when you have 98 votes all together. You just get the, the number of percentage yeah. and votes for the same. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to have exactly 100%. It's just, it's just how it works, really. Yeah. It's just, it's just math. It's you know, math. yeah. So Santorini is the winner. Yeah, I think just the table presence of that game is it. yes. kind of what brings it to the forefront for people. Oh just because the way it looks on the table with those 3D buildings and trying to figure out how to move around and get to the top. Mm-hmm. I mean, people just yep. Well, love I not the... mentioned the the use of the player powers is different every time you play. Yes. I love that. I love that. So cool. yeah, replayability is huge. Yep. Now, this next pairing is going to be <laughs> super interesting as well. Because yeah. these are two extremely yeah. highly regarded, as speaking of right. like light, easy to play um, oh, yeah. games. And, you know, Lost, Lost Cities, Cities being versus the, Patchwork. Right. Lost Cities being like the classic, the the long-running best like two-player mm-hmm. game that was like top for the longest time, yep. right? So, and it's, Patchwork it's the is one like, I always heard. Patchwork is like the game that brought like the whole polyomino thing really to life. Yes. You know, people were playing Patchwork and they're building their boards and drafting all the little little pieces. And there mm-hmm. were so many games that spun off of this. But I know that Patchwork is still people's like one of their favorite for like the two player version of a game that has those sure. polyominoes. And it's a lot simpler than a lot of the heavier euros that utilize. Yes, it. absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's like here's Patchwork. Here's a uh, um, uh, feast for Odin. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Indeed. All right, guys, here comes the link to vote. Here we go. I think Patchwork was the first name of a game I saw the the Facebook page when you put this up. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Very popular. Yep. I don't know. I I like both these games, but I think Lost Cities still makes it the table more often than Patchwork. Yeah. Where's Mark's link? I did. I put it up. It's a, yeah. I mean, there's there's voting already. It's happening. Yeah. We're at sixty one votes so far. Oh, that uh, is pretty pretty split too, actually. Yeah, my this chat's one, I think being this one would lame. be even a little tighter. You know, yeah. these, these two. It, it's it's shaping up the way I thought it was going to shape up, but I did think it was going to be tighter. Yeah. I mean, it's still anybody's game. We had a lot last time that just like went like yeah. they, one would pull ahead, and then other people would be like, "Oh no!" and pull right back ahead and <laughs> right, exactly. uh, right together. 
Lost Cities is an interesting one with the whole, like, um, trying to build the sets and then trying to get stuff out of discard piles and being very yeah. conscious about yeah. what you're doing with that stuff as well. I know people are really big on that game also. So mm -hmm. we'll see. Yep. Yeah, I think it's, it's the one, it's one that what Tom says that he and Laura play all the time, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, this is one of yeah. the games that he said in like changed his life because he was able to play it so much with Laura and they've played it a ton. And I know he was really excited when this new edition came out. Yeah. It has the Vincent Dutre artwork and just looks yeah. like the cover looks gorgeous on it. So yeah, it's, it's I mean it's a simple game with like cards and numbers and putting stuff in the right rows and stuff like that, but it's <laughs> it's it's a classic, that's for sure. Yep. Sure. Yeah, and I picked this up from Target for like eight bucks. It was on right. sale or something like that, six bucks. And it's definitely a huge mass market type of game, right? So mm -hmm. awesome. Man, this is tight. It is. I love it. <clears throat> We're at ninety nine votes. I'm waiting for one more person. <laughs> yeah, one yeah more then the math is in. perfect. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there say? it is. There's hundred votes. <laughs> perfect. Let's do it. Um, cool. It. So with the poll here. Um, Lost Cities is at 55 votes with 55%, obviously. And, <laughs> and Patchwork is at 45 votes with 45%, 100 votes total. Um, but yeah, Lost Cities just squeaked by with yeah. uh, the 10 extra votes there. So that was anybody's game, but uh, Lost Cities what? pulled it out. Yep. Made it happen. Definitely. Love it. Awesome. Well, oh, this next one to... I'm excited about. <clears throat> yeah. Let me get this all set up here for a moment. Oh yeah. man, I'm actually really nervous mm -hmm. about this next one. Yeah, <sighs> this one could go either way. This makes yeah, this makes me good. sweat. Okay, the next pairing. Let me show the bracket again so everybody can see where we're currently at. Whoosh. The next pairing here is Summoner Wars versus Star Realms. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. One is, is like the extremely streamlined deck building game where you're just taking out each other's life points, sure. recruiting a whole bunch of ships, getting down some strongholds to defend yourself, and uh, lots of combos. But Summoner Wars is like the classic yes. like game of like grid combat and taking out your opponent's summoner. And man, yep. I love... I mean, it's been out of print for a little while now. I know they're talking about making a second edition of it, but yeah. Summoner Wars is one of my favorite games of all time. This is exactly 50-50 right now. It's just going straight down the middle. <laughs> but what's crazy is, though, I love about Summoner Wars is the idea of using cards as something besides a card in your hand. Like, it's oh, positional. Yeah. Anytime there's, you know, right. uh, a positional-based sort of feature, I love that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. But like you said, Star Realms is the classic fighter um, deck builder. Yeah, I actually... I never actually bought a copy of Star Realms. The very first time I had really played the game much, I played in a Star Realms tournament that we had like at a little local meetup. And I won the tournament, so I won a copy of Star Realms. So I'm like, cool! I'd never played the game before, but deck building for the win. <laughs> All right. Um, so that was yeah. fun. Star um, Realms was the first game that I, I was like, wow, I really like deck building now. Before I was like, eh, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, it really, and now hero realms, I like, I prefer, but, um, that's yeah. what a lot of people are saying in the chat too, is hero realms is, is their preference. Yeah. Uh, same. Yeah. Hero realms had a lot of votes. Um, and I thought it might've made it to the list, but as it went on, someone else put star realms on the list and then it pushed all the way up, like pretty far into our bracket. Wow. So, okay. Almost so, like, oh, and it was, that game. <laughs> it was on actually way later. So there was a chance for hero realms to be there and it actually, was ahead at first, but then people put Star Realms on and way more people voted for it. Yeah. Um, but Summoner Wars for me is just, I don't know. I love that game. So yeah, it's, it's good. It's so well oh, thought out. It is. I like both, both these games. It's hard to choose because I really like them both. I mean, for me, 100% Summoner Wars all day long. Yeah. The, the thing about Star Realms though, is that I could throw it in my, my bag and tiny you know, and play yeah. it anywhere right i mean that's what i really like too i feel like at this point i have games. played star realms like i've played it enough to where it's like i don't need to continue <laughs> and but it's summoner funny, wars i can always that. go back to it i for star realms i almost always just go to the app anymore i never pull out oh the card, that's you true you know but for hero realms i always pull out the card game so oh gotcha cool cool <laughs> Well, yep. I think we're solidly in the voting here. Yeah. So uh, it looks like Star Realms is the winner with 62 votes. 
And Summoner Wars has 35 votes. Five. And so Star Realms will proceed. Yeah, I suppose yeah. that's the first major upset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes me. I would have been happy with either one of these winning. I think. Can I just move Summoner Wars up anyway? No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. The, <laughs> the people have spoken. They have. Last time, people were yelling at me because I accidentally moved the wrong game, and I'm like, I'm trying to do a lot of stuff here. It's uh, like wingspan just took off. Like, it's... Right, <laughs> I feel right. like. Oh, cool. oh, 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 this one I'm excited about because. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I jumping the gun? Are we? Are we talking about the next one yet? Yeah, we're t- we can talk about the next one. Yeah, Targi, but Unmatched is what I'm excited about because Unmatched, like back when I was not didn't know that this hobby existed, mm-hmm. I had Star Wars Epic Duels and it was oh, yeah. a phenomenal game. Just, yeah. I loved it as a kid or me in middle school or high school or whatever I was. And when I found out that they were re-skinning it with this, I was ecstatic. So I'm very happy about Unmatched and played it and loved it. Nice. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold on. Didn't Lost Cities win, not Patchwork? And that voting, Roy. I'll fix it. <laughs> I, th- I think it was Twilight it did. Struggle. Twilight Struggle won that. Oh, match it was probably well. Twilight Struggle. You're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for keeping me honest. You bet. It's I funny though, because like, was like nah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Half of the people were happy. Yeah, nah, don't tell them. I fixed right, it. Here comes. The voting has started now. Go, go vote. Uh, cor- correct me if I'm wrong, but unmatched aren't the figures washed? Don't they have yeah, like a yeah. nice black wash on them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. They look. And amazing. I know Targi is a game that's made a ton of Z's top ten lists. Yep. Yep. Um, just because it's... it's one of those, another one of those two player games that people really enjoy. Yeah. Actually, I don't know that I've ever heard anyone speak the name Targi out loud other than Z Garcia on, on a list. <laughs> it's always him. I, a... I'd like uh... to vote for Targi on this one. That's like. <laughs> Love it. Uh... Um... Let's see. How's, how's the voting going? How is the voting going? <laughs> it's getting paid. The patchwork pay, uh, uh, backroom shady deals are paying Roy. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to pay attention to what's going on. Uve Rosenberg. I've got like, a bunch yeah, of I, screens open right now. I have right some now. dollars for you that you can have if you put my game up there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I paid out by somebody, it's definitely not it's UA not Rosenberg. Uve Rosenberg. Come on. <laughs> For patchwork. <laughs> that's oh, not my that's MO. Nice. Um, Please anyway. talk about my game. <laughs> yeah. No, it's um, me, though. Tell, isn't it worker placement, like two player quick worker placement? Which one? Targi. I know there's like a grid of cards that you're moving around. I haven't played. Chat, you're going to have to help played. us out with Targi yeah. as well. I haven't played either, but I like Unmatched a whole lot. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> well, I, I love the idea of, hey, pick a character through history, and you're yeah. Sinbad, or you're Alice. Like, it's I love, fantastic. I, love I feel like Unmatched is one of the games that's just going to get better with time. The more things yeah. they have, and the more things you can mix and match, the, well, the more the, fun it's going to be. They have yeah. the, the new Dino one, right? So Yeah. It's Engi- was it Engine versus Raptors, right? Yeah, or, I think, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I saw it at Gamma. It's really cool. Another cool thing about Targi is that the uh, the expansion for it's finally coming out in English. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I yeah, Dan Kelly says it is work placement. So I, see, I need that. Like, I need any work that's placement. That's why you're alley, right? Two-player work placement, man. I right love there. work placement. I will cut a game a lot of slack if it's a good work placement. Yeah. What's your favorite one? Oh, gosh. Um, you know, probably. It's weird because one of my favorite, well, I mean, besides Viticulture and things like that, but there's yeah. one that we love called uh, Railroad Revolution. It's mm-hmm. it's kind of worker placement but it's like the workers do different stuff depending yeah. on the color of the worker. Uh, there's a ton of great ones. I'm looking over yeah. the shelf. You know, definitely slide. Viticulture comes to mind for that, but I think the one that I, yeah. one of the ones I really like is Winterforge because you're actually moving around the city doing things and collecting and building you know, it's just really cool. You were <laughs> like telling me about that one one time. I need to get yeah. my hands on that. I like it a lot. I like Fallout Shelter. Oh, I, yeah. th- that's It's so good. I hear ready to be played. It's sitting. Yeah. Oh, you got a here. copy of it? That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's oh, wow. so good. I played it at Gamma. Man, I loved it. So, I so actually good. played Fallout Shelter with my kids, and they really enjoyed it as well, too. Yeah, really? It's great. It's just fantastic. Look, kids, it's a game about what we're doing right now. <laughs> 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 the game of life. 
<laughs> exactly. Right. Cool. I think we can call this for sure. We, yeah. um, Targi oh. with 55 votes is wow. the winner. Yay, Targi! And Unmatched had 36 votes. Yeah. So Targi Good. pushes itself up again more. So it's showing the poor, poor yeah. King Arthur is defeated. Boom. <laughs> Sad. Now there needs to be a Targi expansion for Unmatched. <laughs> I've got to go get my hands on. Oh, Alien Frontiers is is, uh, is a good a good choice. Somebody put that in the chat too. I like dice basement games too. No, that's yeah. a good. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's Oops. our last matchup for the um, yep. the pairing here at the beginning or for the la the first round, and that is Seven Wonders Duel versus yep. Dice Throne. Yeah, I, I mean, I love Dice Throne. I think it's yes. awesome with the Yahtzee mechanic. It's so fun, like the different characters you have, the different things you can match up. But I don't know. I feel like Seven Wonders Duel is going to wreck it. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Like <laughs> feeling too. But the thing it's is, one I of... love, I love dice, right? And dice throw, and then the fact that Dice Throne is evolving to Dice Throne Adventures. I just love Dice Throne so much, and the presentation is so amazing in that game. Mm -hmm. So I've got to get my hands on it. I haven't played it. You haven't played so Dice Throne yet. Oh man, I love it. No, no. I played play Seven Wonders Duel like seven hundred times, but uh, yeah, right. Like this is one of those ones that because when we play, I've only played it with Carla. It's it's a stressor on our marriage. Seven Wonders Duel. <laughs> <laughs> how how could you take that one card? <laughs> right. Yeah, I get it. And yeah, it's definitely probably the more popular of the two and more easily accessible, um, perhaps. So, I think Seven so, Wonders Duel. Just the fact that like they took uh, an extremely popular game, Seven Wonders. Yeah. And normally, like, drafting doesn't work two players that well. And they figured out a way to make the drafting, like, super interesting. The whole yeah. pyramid, some cards are yep. face down, yeah. some cards are face up. It's like, do I want to take this card and then open that card up for somebody else or my opponent? It just, that whole mechanic there is just brilliant. And it's very interesting. Yeah, um, absolutely. Dice Throne, if people out there haven't played it, I know Seven Wonders Duel is the much more popular game, but Dice Throne is just a great, like, brawl in between two completely different characters with all sorts of, like, you have your own custom dice, yep. and you're going to be rolling those dice to trigger all sorts of different powers trying to take down your opponent. Um, like and that's why, it, that's why it made the bracket, just because it's such a yeah. hugely popular game. And the I, production I, value is insane. It is insane. I love it so much. Oh, my gosh. And I'm the going to look it up really right now that two player battle game and then evolve it into an adventure where you're working cooperatively is so well done. Love it. That's hard to do. That's hard to pull off a complete yeah. change too. Yeah. It's amazing. They did such a good job with that. I yeah. And I, I'm surprised how they've made things feel so asymmetrical in just a, like the mechanics are the same. You're always rolling dice and re-rolling dice Yahtzee style or King of Tokyo style. Yeah. But the fact that like all these different factions have different things they do and different things they can trigger and feel very different it's kind of crazy isn't this that humongous game in the dice tower uh library every time we I have like a library, big box yeah. of it, but yeah. it comes like every single character is yes. like in its own like game trays style thing with like the deck in there and the dice in there and like dials yeah, cool. and stuff and there's card play but then there's also like you're trying to upgrade your character yep. and give them better actions, but then you're also trying to play things to counter your opponent, and then yeah. you're just trying to knock them down out of their life points. I mean, it's, it's just it's just so cool. It's very straightforward, as as, but there's all sorts like of different battle stuff. Art game goes. It's one of my favorites because it's it's not dependent on you knowing your deck like a hundred percent. Like you can jump in with a new character and still do fairly well. I like that. Cool. Well, I think we can definitely call this one because yeah. uh, it's not close. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um. So. We have 103 votes this time. Yeah. And yeah, 80 votes for Seven Wonders Duel. Obviously, wrecked it. Yep, Landslide. Yep. And then Dice Throne with 23 votes. Seven <laughs> Wonders Duel is going to be a force to be reckoned with this yes, entire it list. Is. Yeah, I was, oh, gosh. <laughs> Super. And it's really good. I mean, don't, yeah. It's just, I, I like dice games, so. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, uh, this is shaping up, starting to look like my prediction. I'm a little. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So what do you guys think so far? I mean, you have surprises here? I think, yeah, I think I thought Lost City was going to beat Patchwork. Mm -hmm. um, but everything else is shaping up. Let me see. Where, where's the actual bracket? I'm trying to see it again. Oh, it's right Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to bring it back up. I am correcting the bracket and making it look right <laughs> here. That's fine. You just, you just put whatever games you want up there, Roy. Just 
<laughs> Apparently, I do it's mistakenly. Just, just I'm like, I think I know which one won. I don't know. You know, it's definitely That's not the one I like. Um. So yeah, <laughs> War of the Ring, Raptor, Star Wars Rebellion, Santorini, Lost Cities, Star oh. Realms, Targi, and Seven Wonders Duel have all made it to the second round. Yes. This is a scary round here. It is. Yes. Ooh. So the next the next matchup is going to be War of the Ring versus Raptor. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Um, Which is the best Lord of the Rings themed game? That's what you should base this off of. <laughs> 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 Which one of these two has a better Frodo? I'm just saying. <laughs> well, the other one was going to be the Hobbit themed. Yeah, um, that's right. It's <laughs> true, true. All right, the link is up to vote, guys. Go for it. It's nice. Warm. Let me let me <laughs> let me go for it as well. I'm actually I'm not actually voting on any of these. I just have to bring them up so we can actually see them on the screen. Yeah, I'm I'm choosing to not vote either, but it's hard hard not to. It's early. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, like, it's... Oh, <sighs> and oof, there's some bouncing back and forth going on. Yes. Yeah, this your one... vote really counts on this yep, one. It, it seems this one especially. It's this is really hard. I love. Whoa! It. <laughs> yeah, I, that I, keep, like <laughs> I keep refreshing and and yeah. watching which one is going further right uh, oh my gosh this is awesome oh, oh my gosh it's, like i just like to watch the line between them jump on the pie chart yeah right oh whoa what happened it's it's dead even again yes Somebody's oh, over there, like, it's taking so back fun. their vote and then switching to the other one, <laughs> trying to make it as even as possible. I know it. Someone's like, hey, go to this link I sent you. It doesn't matter what it is. Just vote what I'm telling you. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. That's fine. This is 50-50 at 49 votes apiece currently. Like, unreal. This is awesome. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, man. Uh, so close. Dude, I... Yeah. I really don't know where. <laughs> oh my that god! That wasn't me cutting out. That was just me being nervous. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. So, so if anybody uh, wants to know how to vote, if they're still watching this and haven't figured out yet, go check for Mark Street's uh, comment in the chat, and you can click on that to be able to vote. This one's super close, so we need your help to be able to determine yeah. the winner. <laughs> yeah, because no matter what, now if we shut it off. People are like, no, you shut it off too early. <laughs> too early. Yeah, last okay. time we had someone who was uh, annoyed that we shut one of them off too early. And I'm like, what? We, like, waited for forever. We have to call it eventually, yeah. you know? We, yes, oh we do. Gosh, it's still 50-50. This is ridiculous. Oh, man. Yeah, ridiculous in a good way. Well, yeah, it's pretty much 50-50. It, it, it is 50-50 now. now. Call it now, Roy. Call it, call it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to, like... <laughs> oh, man. This is awesome. What? 122 it's, votes so far. Yeah, and it's sitting at 61, 61. Like, oh, there, there we go. Raptor just took the lead. So, oh, Raptor just jumped up. Oh, this is precious. There we go. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like we need this a little bit more of that. Last chance because it looks like Raptor. Ooh. Oh, there's... I feel like. I Ooh. feel like all these people voting for Raptor. I, I I still I wished it was themed in lord of the rings no i'm just kidding <laughs> oh it's super close kabuki can we get jeff goldblum on this i mean really right i think he has some thoughts about raptors wow Not it real. did swing back it, wow it's pretty heavily swing. there's all kinds of crazy swings this is awesome huh I'm going to take it personally now. I feel like everybody's like, oh. <laughs> and I'm, I'm working on, for hopefully the next episode, folks, we're working on doing some real-time voting so you can see it happen in real time. So, um, Yeah. I could, so, I, I, could, I could just put it to the voting screen and just keep refreshing over and over you again. You could do that for now. <laughs> sure. But Man, then people are going to see like the little oh. wheel spin over and over again. They're going to be like, that's strange. That's so exciting. <laughs> Nature Man, it is so close. Away. It is. I can't believe how close this is. This is awesome. The votes is people still jumping in here. Yeah, we are up you to 147 votes. So anybody who hasn't voted yet, or else we're going to have to call it here because yep. we have spent a bunch of extra time on this one. Yeah, it's just because it's so close. We want to make sure that everybody gets their chance to um, have their vote counted. Or the ring is going down like Chilean sea bass. Man, this yeah. is, I cannot like, believe this is barely. happening. <laughs> yeah, like. 
Somebody named Strategy Wizard says Raptor is better. Raptor doesn't have any wizards in it. Come on. <laughs> You're a strategy wizard. Where's the wizards? <laughs> there is definitely wizards in War of the Ring. It Although, does, let me just say, if Raptor does have dinosaurs, wizards, though. I'm going to have to take back your uh, wizard status. I'm just saying. Yeah. Or maybe he's just jealous of Gandalf. I don't know. I'd be Radigan. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, cool. We're right. going to call this. We are. Uh, even though it's last. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's still close again. It's just yeah. brutally close. Okay, that's fine. Do it. Do it. All right. Wow. Raptor. With there it is. 75 votes oh. is the winner. War of wow. the Ring had 73 votes. Yes. Raptor is definitely more accessible, Kabuki Kid says. So. Right? Corey Christensen says, dragons greater than dinos. Yes. Yeah, true. That is true. <laughs> That's valid. Yeah, but does War... I guess War of the Ring has fell beasts. Do they count as dragons? I think they're more like chickens in the book. I mean, there are dragons in the universe. There's there are. fireworms. That is true. That is true. Schmaug, as uh, Peter Jackson says. Schmaug. Oh, but look Schmaug. how close that voting was. That's just amazing. <laughs> That's crazy. That's insane. Love it. 150 votes right now. Toa, truly, a, truly a battle royale. Right it now. is. Truly. I hope y'all feel happy that Frodo just got his throat torn out by a raptor. I'm just... <laughs> I want everyone to have that visual image in their mind. What's wrong with you, Brian? Drake? No, don't. That's horrible. Yeah, this is this is rough. It's I a would family have friendly channel. <laughs> He's I not love... real. It can't hurt him. I really enjoy both those games, but I feel like War of the Rings is definitely the better game. Cool. Well, our next matchup is going to be Star Wars <laughs> Rebellion versus Oof. Santorini. Yep. This should be. I don't know. This For me, this is just a, a given. <laughs> it, it is, but it's also one of those things of, uh, do people prefer lighter games or deeper, heavier games on this one? True, absolutely. Yep. The fact that these are a... But, uh, but, it's just but, popular opinion. I mean, it's easier for people to get a lighter game to the table. So, in general, oh, yeah. more people will but, have played a lighter game. But it's Star Wars. <laughs> well, and it's Star Wars done amazingly well, yes. too. Yeah, well, this is. If yeah. Spock was in this, I'm sure it would do even better. Right? <laughs> I'm sure. It'd be so much better. He's my favorite Star Wars character. Oh, you're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Data's Everyone the best just, droid. All the Data is the best droid. Somebody. Don't at me. Roy is the new con. <laughs> <laughs> don't even play like you don't like Star Trek 2. Come on. I do, I do. But I saw Star Wars in the theater 162 times when it first came out. (laughs) Wait, is that true? That's true. So quick story is that it was in the theater for a year. It left and came back for the summer. Every day I would ride my bike to the theater and watch it for the the very first show. And I did that for a week. And after that, the manager said, just go. So the whole summer, he let me see Star Wars every day for free. (laughs) <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. It what was a awesome. picture of the old school way of, of life. Where it's like, ah, just like, kid, come on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just come right. in and watch this movie. And one of the neat things about that when it came back that summer was that if you waited through the credits, you'd get a sneak preview of Empire. So, Someone said if Star Wars Rebellion really? loses, then the Dice Tower should be banned from the internet. I don't, I'm not actually even voting on this at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm getting zero votes. You need to talk oh. to your friends in chat. That's yes. right. Blame each other on this. It's Star Wars, yes, I agree with that statement. <laughs> Although, you don't get to build things vertically in Santorini. I mean, in uh, Star Wars Rebellion. I'm just saying. Sure. You but can you have, stack up some X Wings on top of each other. Come on. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, these are these are extremely different games. Oh my gosh, radically. <laughs> but they both have wow. plastic. They do both have plastic. They and have a plastic. <laughs> and if you, took, if you took two of the dome lids from Santorini and put them together, it would almost be like a Death Star. No. A, a nice oh. blue Death Star. <laughs> I'm out. No, I'm out. It's the prettiest, uh, prettiest Death Star I've ever seen, man. Ah. Cool. We definitely have a lot of votes on this. Yeah. This one uh, is not yeah. as much of a nail-biter. No. Nope. I think I think that we could have called it at the beginning and it would be the same now the way it's Correct. going. Yes. Cool. Well, I'm All excited. Done. I'm excited that an epic game is doing well. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Cool. Well, I'll go ahead and show the, the results here um, so we can move this along. Sars Rebellion at 88 votes and Santorini at 49 votes. For a total of 137 votes, Star Wars Rebellion takes it! Yeah! It does. Good, yeah, good I, for you, Star Wars Rebellion. I'm, I'm a mean, huge fan of Star Wars Rebellion, so I'm glad to see wrong with Santorini, but... Right? But given the choice. Cool. The next pairing... Oh, man, Move. that's going to be crazy. You ready Double card this? games here. This is, this is going to be interesting. Yep. Because these were both very popular in their votes. Oh, for sure. Yeah, right? So the next set is Lost Cities versus Star Realms. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Link coming. Ready to vote. Let's go. Let me see if I can Let's see. It. Lost Cities and Star Realms. Uh, I have a feeling Star Realms might still take this. Maybe. I don't know, though. It's very Gosh. interesting because both these yeah. games are super popular. Right. Sure. <sighs> yep. And I wonder, I wonder if they have the same audience or... Uh... Oh, I'm glad. Zach says we can keep the Dice Tower. That's oh, good. <laughs> I was Thank worried you, about Zach. it. Yeah. I feel like there was going to be a change.org petition going around to remove the <laughs> Dice Tower. <laughs> if this is the thing that makes that happen. Oh, my gosh. Oh my goodness! Oh man, votes are just shooting in. Not as close as I would have thought, though. Star Realm seems yeah. to be taking that lead. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's definitely jumped way up. Both these games are pretty good because they're both pretty quick playing. I think. Yes. Yeah. So it's both of these games have that thing, like you were saying, where you can just throw it in a backpack and yep. like yeah. just pull it out wherever and and play the, with people. Right. So. The difference, though, is that Star Realms, you do need to have some knowledge of the cards a bit, sure. um, mm -hmm. where Lost Cities has less of that. So you can bring new players in much easier, I feel like. Yeah, actually, I am curious to the answer to the question you asked a minute ago. Let us know in the comments, or if you're watching this later in the chat, do you like both of these games? I mean, I know you obviously like one better, but is this the same audience for you? Or is that, yeah, whatever. Yep. <laughs> both of these are absolutely in my collection, so. Sure. Yeah, same here. Just wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Star Realms of action. I would have liked to have seen Star Realms versus Hero Realms. Yeah, I would like to have seen that too. Yeah. We already saw it. We already saw it in the polls on the True. on the Facebook group. I mean... <laughs> Thank you, Roy. <laughs> They weren't like head to head, so to say, right? Yeah, I mean, I'd like true. to have seen if that's the only two choices. They right? weren't head to head because Hero Realms was here and Star Realms started with none <laughs> and then went whoosh. Yes. Yeah, okay, valid, valid statement. But uh, that that is a thing. If you didn't see your game that you really like, the two players represented on this, make sure to check out the Dice Tower Facebook group. You can go mm -hmm. over there, and I'm gonna be since we're gonna be doing these bi-weekly, I'm gonna be posting these a little bit before, um, and people can vote, and we'll try to like prime the bracket with games. And we had, I mean, if you go over there and look at it, one game had like twice as many votes as the second game, which might yeah. be ending up the game that like takes this whole thing. But yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Sure, we'll see. Yeah, it was it was pretty monumental. But also, I mean, we, we have some lined up in the future, but let us know if there's any, like, brackets you want to see, too. Like, you know, somebody was talking about last week wanting to see two-player games. So, you know, we have some ideas, but... Cool. Well, I think we're ready for the poll, because this one's... We are. This one's not as close as some of the last ones, but uh, no. it's still not that different here. Um, so, Star Realms has... 86 votes and Lost Cities has 58 yeah. votes with 144 people voting, which makes Star Realms the winner. It's the winner. It moves forward Moving on. into the bracket. Moving on like Brady to the Bucks. Now, Let's I feel see. like this next pairing could be super tight as well. Let's see what I, we I don't here. think it's going to be super tight. You don't think so? No. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. Um if I can find uh, one uh, my prediction bigger. is I'm predicting a forty vote deficit in this one. Okay. That's what I'm predicting. Now I won't say which way, even though it, I, I think it's obvious I mean seven wonders duel, but I I, yeah. I say that now just to be proven wrong. 
pretty sure some wonders has got this one, but I feel like there's a ton of people who love Targi. So. Well, I say that. How many people voted in the last one? Was it 130? Yeah. Yeah, I'm changing that to a 25 vote deficit. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> that is so different. That's so, so, yeah, this is Targi right. versus Seven Wonders Duel. Yeah. All right, guys, here comes the link to vote. Go for it. Vote. Share it with your family. Tell them <laughs> to vote. Go make another account and vote. It's, it's fine. We don't... <laughs> <laughs> be be just like Brian Drake and get him and his wife to vote for Starlight Struggle. Hey, I did. I, <laughs> awesome. I had Carla join the Facebook group and get. I was like, hey, go go join this group so I can vote for Twilight Struggle for you. <laughs> I'm trying to be all like nonpartisan here on right. any of these and let the people make choices. Brian's over there like trying no, to I'm force his favorite game onto the bracket. It's throwing a wrench in the works. Yeah, I'm a like, hack, man. I have no problem admitting that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I had to mention that like live in the middle of this thing. So. I was like, come on, go vote. <laughs> so good. I'm telling you. Oh, man. You might not be wrong on your deficit there. Uh, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it looks like... Apparently, I'm only, I'm only two away from my original answer. Only. Three. Three now. <laughs> <laughs> Could three people vote for Targi? <laughs> Could three people just jump in? Yeah, just jump in and vote for Targi. So be, oh, oh, one more person vote for Targi and I'll be good. And we'll end it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is all about making uh, Brian's guesses correct. That's right. Not. That's really what this is about, is just to make me feel better as a person. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> for me, this is like a no-brainer. Yeah. Like, I'm strictly Seven Wonders Duel. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. For me, out of these two, for sure. But I haven't really played Targi, so... Mm. No, but I, it's like Roy said with the, the numbers in the Facebook group. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, I think we can go ahead and call this one. Call that. Yeah, I think so. There's still people voting, though. So Yeah. yeah. I, just, uh... I feel like... I feel like it's going to be, for sure, Seven Wonders there. Oh, yeah, it's definitely... I don't think the numbers are... Good. There's no way it's flipping back. <laughs> but, uh... But I just want to make sure everybody felt like they got their chance to vote. So, sure. um, so Seven Wonders Duel has 89 votes, and Targi has 42, making Seven Wonders the winner. I really thought it would be closer. I really did. I, I, I felt like Seven Wonders was best. Like struggle. Down. Look at you. Yeah. I just, oh, what? What is oh, this? Oh, where did that know? come from? Just, didn't know that was there. Uh, Drake, yeah. The worst. That was. Um... <laughs> I that might get... <laughs> I'm a partisan hack. I have no problem admitting it. <laughs> oh, Rebellion Raptor. No, this could be good. Yeah, let me see. Oh wait, we're on the next together. round, right? Yeah. Round yeah, we are back to the next thing. I'm trying to set this thing up. Boom. Cool. We go ahead and show the bracket. So in the the next round, the games that we have that have made it are Raptor, Star Wars Rebellion, Star Realms, and Seven Wonders Duel. Here for the third round of pairings. <laughs> gonna get tight we all did a really great job picking these games by the way none of these were like oh that doesn't belong there so right. good good choices this is yeah. shaking out nicely oh yeah for sure and this is the this is a little less finals right here than last time so far oh yeah for sure all right so uh raptor versus star wars rebellion make sure to get your Ooh. your boats in go all right hey, y'all let raptor tear the throat out of Gollum last time but Boom. general tarkin cannot be taken by a raptor I'm about to say, if there's two epic games taken down by Raptor, I'm just going to be sad. And oh. I will immediately go out and buy Raptor. Sorry, Grand. <laughs> Correct myself. I can't believe I called him General. I really, what am I thinking? I really enjoy Raptor. I mean, I'm telling you, man, I play it more than probably most two player games that I have. I oh, so apparently Star Wars Rebellion is more popular than War of the Ring. So I'm just saying, vis a vis. I can't find the link. What? It's in the chat, man. I you know. Pay, you gotta pay I, for the. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. click away from the the <laughs> chat box thing, and then I can't find it. I can post again. No, no, no. I'm sure everybody else has. There it is. Yeah. My chat's just being delayed. Ooh. I mean, Ooh, I'm, I was pretty time. sure this would be a Star Wars thing, right? But um, I really, I I love both these games. I would be hard for me to pick. Really? I think. No, really, because I just I've had so much fun with both. It's not like oh I have mm-hmm. way more fun here, or it's just every game has been pretty memorable for all both of these games. Well, now I gotta go find a copy of Raptor because I'm really <laughs> talking me into it. Thank. You. 
It's just super accessible too. I mean, you can engage almost anybody with it. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure, like the fact that it's just like a solid game with dinosaur theme on it just helps a yeah. lot. You know, that yeah. art is nice too. Yeah, it's it's just really fun. But no, but of these two, yeah, Star Wars. I mean, I'm just obviously hey, gonna gravitate that way. <laughs> does Does Z love Raptor? Oh yeah. I mean, would, does Z love it because the two names at the top of the box are both Bruno and Bruno? Because I'm wondering. <laughs> For sure. I, I, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, Z must love Raptor, of course. Is that art Vincent Dutrade as well? I, I can't tell. It looks yeah, like so him. It's, it definitely, because uh, it says Raptor hits the table more often than Rebellion. Yes, 100% way more often. But it's Star Wars. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's the sure. thing is e- epic is epic like you're not yes. gonna forget your games of star wars rebellion like you'll yeah. play a game of it and be like remember that time that i did this thing and like at the very last second i did the little trench run thing because i had the perfect card and blew up the death star oh, and got my last couple better. points to yeah. win the game my yep. buddy reminds me of the rule that i messed up every time he sees me literally well, which one? <laughs> which one? um i'm pretty sure it had to do with um uh the the the, the cards when you're the empire Something about either getting rid of him or, or uh, something about that made it harder for him to find my base, okay. and uh, and he reminds me quite. It was the first time we played, but yeah. you know, we'll but never let you forget. No. Oh, I know, never. <laughs> I love that. He should have been stronger with the dark side. I mean, come on. Yeah, and true. Should, should have been channeling it. Yeah, just use the force. I mean, it's not hard. Just okay, use, just use well, we're gonna go ahead and call this thing. David, um, save you might be correct. That might happen. <laughs> Star Wars Rebellion with 82 votes is the winner, nice. and then Raptor has 53 votes. So not a small amount of votes for Raptor nope. there, though. No, it's it's. I'm telling you, you got to yeah. try it. Nothing shabby at all. So for sure, Star Wars Rebellion will be in the finals, and who will yes. it go up against? I think we all know, but we'll see here. Yes, I think we do. That's an interesting comment that somebody said that Raptor has that muted appeal where it doesn't appeal to people who are or it appeals to people who aren't just big fans of IPs in general. That's not a, that's not that's pretty true actually. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. <laughs> Ooh. Cards again, but two of the most popular card games. Oof, this is gonna be interesting. You think this is gonna be tight? What do you think? I I did I wouldn't have thought so at first, but now I'm sorry. Uh, twenty twenty two votes, Steph said in seven wonders don't play Oh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, here. Yep. Here we go. Link incoming. Go vote. Seven Wonders Duel versus Star Realms. Let us know what your favorite. One is a deck building game. The other is a card drafting game. Yeah, very different. Do you like your old school civilization or your space civilization? <laughs> no, Roy, do you like the old school civilization or the space one? I feel like. Uh, let's see. Which one do you Out like? Out of these one? two, I feel like, it's yeah. as hard for me to pick. <laughs> I yeah. think, I think I like Seven Wonders Duel more because it's more unique. Ooh. Ooh, I did not think you were going to say that. Honestly, I, I thought you were going to go. So with either, I'm surprised. I, I just, I've, I've played Star Realms out. It's yeah. fine. I actually like oh, deck, a lot of other deck building games more than Star Wars. Yeah. Source more than Star Realms. So, I get it. Yep. What's your favorite deck builder? You're an Aeon's End guy. No, I'm a really big fan of uh, Marvel Legendary. Yeah. Oh, really yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I actually, crazily enough, I might pick Dominion over Star Realms. People in the chat what? are going to be mad at me now. But... <laughs> uh, I mean, the theme of Dominion is better. I get that. So, you know, for for that whole, like, knocking out hit points, I think I would yeah. pick Dice Throne over Star Realms. Yes, I would have chose Dice Throne. <laughs> uh, yep. It would be interesting. Like, I wonder how much of these would be completely different depending on like the matchup you know yeah if if, yeah, if different games were matched differently yeah right how much it would change you know oh man i just yeah i i agree somebody said seven wonders duel is like playing sushi go and then <laughs> somebody saying no way <laughs> no I, it's that pyramid mechanic is so nice of do i go here to stop mm-hmm. them or do i go here to benefit me i love that push and pull yeah. Have you won by doing the whole war thing and just like landsliding war because they weren't paying close enough attention? I've lost by every method possible. <laughs> yeah, right. So you weren't paying close enough attention. Yeah, you weren't. <laughs> I'll be like, ooh, look, I've got this. Car. I've got enough space science symbols. Oh, I just lost based on that. So. Although yeah. I would say it's probably been a solid six months since I've played Seven Wonders Duel. Yeah. Um, and I've definitely played Raptor more often 
recently. So, well, Raptor's not in the list anymore. I know. I was going to say, Mark, <laughs> Mark, what are you talking about? Raptor, get out of here with this rap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I think we can call it at this point. Yeah, yeah. pretty sure. Um, so Seven Wonders Duel is the winner with 83 votes, and Star Realms has 54 votes. So Seven Wonders Duel is in our Look. finals. Yep. Yeah. Versus Star Wars Rebellion. I'm gonna have to I think, move some things I think around. We, I think I saw that coming, but it wasn't 100 percent actually. These are gonna I be mean, like these, such they, different they, games. Yeah. yeah right. Oh my gosh. Like, I I have no clue which way this is gonna go. Yeah, it's gonna be. Well, I don't know. I have a feeling. Honestly, I have a feeling Seven Wonders is gonna take it because. Mm. Again, Carla has never played Star Wars Rebellion, nor will she probably, but she loves Seven Wonders Duel, and I know that there are a lot of people in that same mindset of, I'm not sitting here for three hours and playing a Star Wars game. True. So you think but it's that, just it accessibility exactly. accessibility over epic experience and story? I yep. think those are going to be the two main points, yeah, versus each other. Right. I agree. I do think it has potential to be fairly close. We'll see. Okay, yeah. the link is up. Let's vote. Do it. Yeah, I'm excited to see how this one goes because this is two gigantic games, yep. Yep. and it'll be cool to see which one ends up being the uh, wow. the victor in this. Ooh, man, it's definitely close. Wow, yeah. this is Loving not what it. I thought at all. <laughs> well, it's I didn't to head, though. Um, I like to just keep hitting the button to watch yep. the real time <laughs> bars know, move. Right? Maybe, maybe for this last uh, one, I'll switch it. I'll switch it to yeah, the poll dude. and just yeah, refresh dude. it over and over again. So everybody. <laughs> Keep an eye on. Get in there and vote because this is the one that matters. The, who this determines the, the winner. It is down to the wire. Wow. Seven Wonders Duel is in the winning. So if you're down for yeah. rebellion, make sure to uh, get in there and vote. We have 125 yeah. people. Post this poll. Go get it. <laughs> voting, um, but I know we have a bunch more than that watching. So make sure yeah. you're getting yep. in there. Vote. If you're wondering yeah. about how to vote, make sure to go to the chat <laughs> yes. and look for Mark Street's comment. It'll have the link to vote in there. And here's the link again. <laughs> like Mark some wants to make like, sure everybody can easily find it. Right? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not clicking anything right now. <laughs> Although if you watch on your phone... Now here's a question. If you watch it on your phone, does it take you out of the video if you don't have YouTube uh, Premium? Or will it do it Will it do it do in the background? It's a question. Oh, I don't know. It's a good question. I'm curious. You might have to be switching out and then coming back in, which is rough. Yeah. But... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> now, now Chad's getting mad. <laughs> Once right. Rough quicker much easier to get to the table so i mean i totally get that but man it's it's so star wars though yeah <laughs> it is. it's close though it definitely yeah. put Honestly, up a fight i think they also both exercise the tactics and strategy uh <laughs> functions of your brain you know what i'm saying like, mark says there's a stro- star destroyer in orbit ready to blast all of us <laughs> that's right <laughs> 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 I love it. Oh That's my a... goodness. Oh man. Okay, John okay. I think I think it's solid now. We've got 154 yeah. votes in. Yeah, it's, it's looking it. solid. I mean, I've already shown the poll. I mean, it's there. So yeah. Everybody can see it. <laughs> yep. But um Seven man. Wonders Duel has 86 votes to Star Wars Rebellion's 68, which yep. puts Seven Wonders oh. Duel firmly in the lead. Does. And our winner Oh my goodness! I need to uh, go back. I did not see that happening. Honestly, I kind of thought it was going to go the other way. Yep, I really, I, I, I wasn't sure. It's just Seven Wonders is so popular, right? And again, the whole accessibility and ease to the table thing. So, oh, for sure, it's done so well. I mean, there. Well, it's also another one of those I've never played just once. Carla and I will play, or whoever I play with, but usually Carla will play back to back to back to back. And what's interesting about Duel for me is that we used to play a fair amount of Seven Wonders, but we don't ever. We just pull out Duel. We never yeah. play Seven Wonders anymore. That's right. Oh, for sure. It's one of those few games where the two-player version is better in some ways than the original. Yeah, I I think it is. I've, I enjoy it more. So. For Your sure. Your faith disturbing. Yes, indeed. That's it. <laughs> it is. Yeah, Seven Wonders. Victorious in our bracket. 
But yeah, thanks everybody for coming out and uh, watching yeah, our uh, thing. It's definitely awesome. The whole interaction with the, the chat and interacting awesome. with everybody voting is just a ton of fun. We're going to look yeah. for one that like auto goes up so we can kind of like yes. show the poll as time goes by. So that way you guys can get a real time feel. But I also feel like there's something interesting, especially when you're watching it like afterwards about like that reveal. You know, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. That's so, true. That's valid. You want to talk a little bit about what we're going to do for future episodes, Roy? <laughs> Oh, for sure. So this is board game battle royale. It's going to be mostly about board games, but Tom said that we should try to mix it up a little bit and said we should throw together one that is not just board games. So make sure to check in the, or leave down in the comments below some ideas of different like lists we can make. We could do like superheroes or movies or shows or anything we can pair together and throw in a bracket. And if we get a good topic, I'll put it in the Dice Tower um, Facebook group and we'll aggregate a whole list of awesome things, 16 things to put together and battle it out. It'd be really cool to have like Batman versus Wolverine or something crazy like that. Right. Yeah, it'd be awesome. It'd be great. And plus this whole superhero thing would work really well. It plays into the board game thing. So, Oh, for sure. But yeah, give us some ideas for topics. Also, if you have topics for um, future board games, one is board games one as well. I know a lot yeah. of people have asked yep, for solo and things like that. And there's all sorts of different topics and ideas. We're going to be doing these every other Wednesday at two o'clock um, Eastern time. So make sure to come back um, same time. Um, not next Wednesday or not the following Wednesday, but the Wednesday after that. So it's crowd surfing one Wednesday, us the next one. So definitely thanks everybody for showing up for this. Um, yes. Yeah. Thank yeah, you did guys. This, did this turn out how you guys thought it was going to? Um, I really thought Star Wars was going to take it. I really, from really? the beginning of the bracket, I really did. I really thought it was. I was just, I'm glad it went as far as it was. Like, after the last one we did, I was just so sad. I'm like, all of my favorite games, right. no one else <laughs> likes. <laughs> well, I, I didn't know Seven Wonders was going to do that good until I saw it destroy in the first couple rounds. It's like, uh, ah. That that's clearly going to be the winner on that side. It's true. Uh, I, I didn't I didn't think uh, Star Wars was going to beat uh, what was the game Raptor because Raptor beat War of the Ring, right? Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, I just I guess it's the power of uh, the Star Wars IP and the fact that like that game's a little bit newer and I think just more people have had a chance to play it. True. The so. thing with Raptor though is that it seems like every time I pull it out, people are like, oh, what's this? So I really expected it to be eliminated early. Mm -hmm. So I was happy to see it go on a little bit. Mark, is Raptor a good game? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mark, Mark talks about Raptor every like two seconds. Have I told you about Raptor? Uh, can we get a Raptor count in the bottom right? <laughs> awesome, everybody. Well, thanks so much for coming out to Board Game Battle Royale. Make sure to check out all of Mark Street's previews for different games that he's doing. Check out Brian Drake's reviews. And I'm always behind the scene editing every thing in the world um <laughs> so all the rest of the dice tower videos make sure to check those out as well and um, we'll be back tomorrow with board game breakfast and a top 10 list um they are doing the top 10 most influential games um for board gaming in general I and mean, then we're gonna have travis oates from above board joining for that as well so it's gonna be z tom and travis so make sure to check that out i've put together the powerpoint only i know all the picks <laughs> so so come back for that, and we'll see everybody next time. Bye. 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 See you guys.